Hi everyone, it's Stephen from futurelooks.com and today we're kicking off our Computex 2012 video coverage with this first edition of our coverage. There should hopefully be another part and maybe another part after that, but we'll see. Uh, first up, we're going to have Gigabyte take us through some of their new innovations. We've got Colin Bricks, their technical marketing manager. He's standing by to give us the scoop on what's new at Computex 2012. Take it away, Colin. Hi Steven and Future Look fans, uh, my name is Colin, I'm here at our Gigabyte Suite at Taipei 101 and today I want to introduce you to our new technology that we're launching here at Computex and that's called our Ultra Durable 5 technology. Now Ultra Durable 5 technology is it's our fifth generation Ultra Durable and we've actually added a lot of unique features. Um, one, the main feature is basically high current capacity components on board. So we're using amp, uh, chokes that are rated up to 60 amps, and as well as uh, IR power stages rated up to 60 amps. Now these IR power stages are pretty unique. Uh, they actually offer much lower temperatures than a traditional D-Pack design motherboard, or even a, a driver MOSFET design motherboard. Um, they have a lot of special unique features, their packaging design, they, their connections are made of low-loss copper, and also their FETs and drivers are in a single package. So we're using them on our new refresh boards. This is our X79 motherboard. This is X79 uh, S UP5 Wi-Fi. So we're going to have our ultra-durable technology of both X79 and Z77. But let me quickly tell you a few features about this board. This board actually is a server chipset. Uh, we're using the C606, so uh, X79S. Uh, this board will support SAS. So as you can see here, we have support for eight SAS ports. Um, also ECC memory support, um, and it'll support some Xeon processors up to, I believe, 150 TDP. So we're, we're calling these boards UP, the P stands for power. Um, there's a UP4 uh, for X79. And then also for Z77, so we're using the same ultra durable technology for Z77. Um, this board actually is our Z77X UP5TH. Now TH stands for Thunderbolt. Uh, each port will support up to 10 gigabits per second transfer, uh, and you can connect up to six devices. So actually our motherboard, you can connect in total 12 devices and 20 gigabits per second. There will be a couple of Thunderbolt uh, models for, for, um, for this Z77 platform. Not only our Ultra Durable 5 on Intel, but we also have an Ultra Durable 5 motherboard for our AMD platform for their new uh, uh, Trinity CPU or Virgo platform. And that's basically it in terms of our, our new motherboards. So Stephen, I'll take it back to you and, and thank you guys for, for watching. Thanks, Colin. Just to add to that, the Gigabyte motherboards that you saw there should be available anytime between the July to August time frame. Price and MSRP have not been announced yet, but hopefully we'll be seeing some of, the, some of those numbers very soon. Next up, we've got Corsair and their team, and they're going to be showing us three new products that are going to be coming to the shelves very shortly. Take it away, guys. Hi, George here from Corsair to talk about the new AX1200i Digital ATX Power Supply. It's the latest in our award-winning AX family. It's 80 plus platinum certified, which means that it's up to 92% efficient. But the real exciting part about it is that it's a digital power supply. So it's got a DSP built in that allows us to have exceptionally tight voltage regulation and ripple and noise suppression while maintaining that super high efficiency. It is a fully modular product, like all of our AX family is and includes the fanless operation at low loads. So up to about four or 500 watts, it runs in fanless mode, about 40% of the load. The AX1200i includes the Corsair Link dongle, so you can actually download the Corsair Link software and monitor real-time efficiency, power input, power output. You can change it from single rail to multi-rail via software uh, and set the overcurrent protection points separately on any of eight separate connectors, up to 20 amps to 40 amps, depending on where you prefer them to be, or you can run it in the default single rail mode. The fan speed is zero by default, up to that rate, like I mentioned before, but if you'd like to turn it up, you can manually change that as well. It allows you to monitor real-time power output, so you can see how much power your video card is using, how much power your CPU is using, your hard drives, all that stuff is real interesting. It's about $349 US and is available in August. So what we have here is actually the Neutron Series and the Neutron GTX. Neutron Series is great. It's uh, uh, really fast. The Neutron GTX takes it one step up, so it's uh, really the very fastest thing that we've got out in our line, our new kind of flagship product. 
uh, takes advantage of toggle NAND to give you 90k reads and writes both. Neutron series, Neutron GTX, both of these will be available in July. We'll be shipping 120 and 240 gigabyte capacities on the Neutron, 120, 240 and 480 on the GTX. Uh, pricing for Neutron will be very similar to what we're offering now on our Force GTs. Uh, Neutron GF GTX will be a little bit of a premium because it is uh, the premium product of that new flagship. Hi, Jake here with Corsair. We're here at Computex 2012 and this is our brand new Dominator Platinum Memory. It's the latest refresh in our Dominator lineup. It features our patented DHX technology as well as Corsair Link integration. It has a user replaceable light bar so you can match it to your system color. It's going to be available in frequencies from 1600 megahertz all the way up to 2800 megahertz. Right now we actually have this kit running at over 3,000 megahertz. It'll be available in late June. So that's what we have to show you today at Computex 2012. Stay tuned for more coverage on future looks. This is Rick Allen with Corsair Components. Back to you, Stephen. Thank you, George, Jared, and Jake, and of course Rick, for showing us all you've got to offer at Computex 2012. Coming right up, we're going to be talking to David from Bit Phoenix. He's got a few things to show us from their lineup. David? Thanks, Stephen. Uh, this is David. Welcome to Bit Phoenix at Computex 2012. Uh, today, I want to show you guys uh, three new products that we have. Here's the Ghost. Uh, this is still an early sample. It's not uh, production ready yet, but this is what it's going to look like. Uh, we have a new coating material called Nano Chrome that is, uh, is, is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of enamel-like and we also mix in Mother of Pearl dust, so you get a pretty cool effect. Um, the Ghost is a silent case. Uh, we put in dampening materials, uh, anti-vibration functions for hard drives and such, uh, filtered intakes everywhere. There is a door that can open in both directions. Uh, on top here, we have a little, you could call it a storage compartment, but it's functional. Uh, we also have a SATA 6 gigabit hot swap port there. It is uh, water cooling ready for slim radiators. Uh, lots of good cable management options and all that good stuff. We also have a dedicated 2.5 inch SSD hard drive cage. Um, or you can take off the wall on the hard drive cage and put in extremely long graphics cards. That's the Ghost. Um, Ghost will be available in the US probably around back to school season. We have a system built with our new mini ITX case, Prodigy. In here you have a Mega Halem, pretty big CPU cooler fitting perfectly. We got a 690 uh, GTX running in here. Okay, it's 570, but it's pretty long and they can be up to 320 millimeters. So even the longest, longest beasts on the market ever can fit inside this case. Uh, Prodigy is also water cooling ready. You can put no modding needed. You can put really, really big radiators in push-pull, uh, both on top and on the front. You gotta make a choice there where you wanna put it. Um, of course, you can combine single RADs and dual RADs and cool graphics card and CPU at the same time. Uh, normal ATX power supplies, you have 18 centimeters depth, so that's a standard power supply, usually around 16, right? Plus some cables to hide away. We have modular uh, flex drive cage with normally five hard drives, but you can take out the middle part to put in a very long graphics card. Uh, plenty of extra flexible SSD locations. Uh, so even if you take out all the hard drive cages to do some crazy water cooling, there's still plenty of options to still put storage and fast SSDs inside. Now, also installed in this um, system, we have the Recon fan controller. And Recon is, at this level, it's a touchscreen fan controller, LCD display, you control fans like so. And uh, it is also connected to the motherboard via a 
USB protocol. So you can get all the settings in a much more much more clear uh, interface here. You can get it on your screen or you can connect to it over the internet. Um, maybe you're folding at home, maybe you're overclocking like crazy, you're a little bit worried about temperatures at home, you can connect to the recon and uh, if temperatures are running high you can enable a preset or uh, notch one fan here, one fan there a little bit faster and so on. So that's a recon fan controller. This is David from uh, BitPhoenix, Computex 2012. Thanks to Steven. And that was David from BitPhoenix on the busy show floor of Computex 2012 in Taipei. Make sure that you stay tuned for our next segment where we're going to be covering Rosebow and Tech, and we're going to be covering another company that's going to be hitting North America very soon, Be Quiet. For more, information on Computex. Uh, we're going to be having some written articles on the site as well too. And don't forget to subscribe for all the latest updates. I'm Steven with futurelooks.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in our next video. Take care.